Hey guys, it's Red one and welcome to episode 10 of Let's Build Chateau de Lumiere. So we are going to be building the stables slash warehouse today. And this odd angle right here is going to be where it's going to be. So I first bring up the whole foundation. I wanted to sort of decide on a reasonable height. So that's what we decide on right there. And then I wanted to add a wooden balcony out front with a little bit of contrast behind using that yellow clay. That's very important. That's the style that we've decided to go with for Lumiere and it really works out. Making the pitch for the roof was very difficult. For a two by angle building, making this style of roof and uh, figuring out how to make it look proper was very difficult. So I would suggest tr do not try this angle at home. But with that said, for those of you looking for more advanced techniques, I say go for it. Just go ahead and try. And if you can do it, great. You're awesome. So on the front here and also on the back, we add in shed roofs at the bottom ed edges of the roof in order to swoop it out and give it a better look. That shed roof on the back really sets in the style and the design for this entire building on both sides, really. And it really looks good. And it shows kind of like the idea of what I wanted to go for. So on the front, this roof looked a little monotonous to me, a little bit boring, so I decided to add in a couple dormers. We changed up the texture to wood, give it a little bit of a darker texture, and I think that looks really nice. We sort of followed the design that we did for the servants' quarters in the last episode. So on the back, we go ahead and design the fortifications. We again bring on the same style of fortifications as the rest of Lumiere, and that really helps out the entire design. On the top here, we add a little bit of that roof decor using the iron fences and such. Also the finials on both of the, uh, the gable ends, and that turns out pretty good. So next we're going to be working on the connecting wall between the craftsman's building and the stables. The reason why I didn't just connect those two buildings using another building is because I wanted to balance the build out and having that little space in between really balances it. So we work on the back a little bit, we add in a little bit of wood framing and such and then on the inside here I'm like, you know what, we need a hayloft. We need to add some asymmetry to the front of this building. So I go ahead and add in a hayloft there with a little bit of a different porch and a pulley system to lift like hay and supplies up. Then I start working on the texturing. As you can see, we add in the travertine and stone bricks to sort of more or less frame in the building and also it's like it's acts as cornerstones to sort of tie it all together and then we add that little roof there above the pulley system again a symmetry it makes the building in general look so much nicer on the back here we add a diagonal platform i wanted to build a flag back here because i really wanted some flags to really bring out the color of lumiere and so red yellow and white is the colors and so that's what we do there and i think that looks nice but not only for the flag itself, but also to break up the flat wall that we had there originally. And that really helps that in, the, in a general sense. So coming to the front here, we start adding in some details. You'll notice that I add some trap doors at the base bases of those wooden beams that really helps make them look a little bit more sturdy. Maybe that'll help you guys later in your builds as well as adding some trap doors at the bottom of your beams or pillars and such. On the side here, I decide to add in a couple windows. Maybe somebody lives in the top section of this building. It sort of looks like that. So maybe there's going to be three levels in here at some point. We'll see what happens. And then on the back, we add in a couple of arched windows to sort of provide some air cross draft to get the air flowing. Because I imagine inside would be fairly stinky with some all the horse dung and stuff like that it really needs to be aired out. And so that's why you try to add a cross draft. So right here, I decide I want to build a stairway leading up to the side of the balcony. Uh, the reason for that to be is because I don't, you know, to not take up so much space on the inside, I decide just to build it on the outside. That way we don't, uh, you know, take up any unnecessary space on the inside. Pretty self-explanatory. So at this point, I decide I want to try to add in more flags across Lumiere. I want to add one on each corner and then one in the middle on the top of the bell tower. As you can see, we have three on each corner, or we have three on the corners, and we'll add the other one on the back once we get the building finished. But right now, that gives you a pretty good idea. Also, I wanted to break up again the flat of that roof and add in a couple little more air vents slash dormers at the top. We add a little bit of detail down here, some hay, some of that yellow carpet, things like that. Really brings the detail in. So that's pretty much the finished product of the exterior of this building. We're not really going to detail this side because you're not going to be able to see that once we build this round tower and the Lord's residence and such. That's all going to be pretty much invisible uh, as we continue the build. And then over here, we just uh, finish off by 
manipulating that terrain and making it work up into the wall. Okay, well there we have it guys. This is the stables slash warehouse for Lumiere. I really like how this turned out. It really works for the intended style and everything. I would definitely suggest not building in an angle of these, you know, the two angle like this. This is really difficult to figure out, especially the roof up here. Uh, I was really confused. So anyways, I had to do a two by at the top and all that good stuff. But in the end, I think it turned out pretty good. It looks like a pretty natural building. Looks like it's supposed to be built there. It looks pretty straight. And I think it works. That little bit of contrast in the back with the yellow clay, that was really necessary. If you, we didn't have that, if we said had the white or something like that, it wouldn't have looked near as good as it does now. But I really like how that turned out and everything. So this is like a little parapets up here where they can shoot arrows down on the enemies on the back. Um, there are a little bit of design flaws like uh, this right here. This, these windows, they look good, but they're facing out. It's kind of like this window right here facing out. But I mean, for the most part, I like that. And then like these right here are little vents for the stink from the stables on the inside to get out. That's the idea with those. I love those. And then this little bit back here, the idea with that is it was just sort of a flat face on the back and it needed something. So I decided to build a diagonal platform pretty much there. And then I used that for a flag. And you'll see that we have flags on each corner now. We're gonna have a flag back on that corner as well once we get to that. So the idea is, is there's gonna be five flags here, four on each corner, one on each corner should I say, and then one in the middle on the top of the tower. So that really helps. Like, just look at these views. Now that you can start seeing the idea of what Lumiere is gonna be like between each of these sections of the walls, like that middle tower really works. The balance of the builds really coming together and the organic nature of the of Lumiere is really looking nice. Now, obviously all these buildings back here are going to be right angles. So we're going to be sort of changing up the style a little bit more or less. Um, I'm looking forward to getting this all done back here, but, uh, but yeah, so next episode, we're going to be working on the interior of the stables here. We're going to be working on adding in some, the actual stable bits and such like that. So I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. But, um, yeah, uh, some other things is, is we have some air vents up here at the top, those little dormers. And then we have these dormers right here. Again, air vents, cause this is probably going to be just like storage and hayloft stuff up here. Um, if I can get through there. But anyways, all this is going to be storage in here and, and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully that'll turn out pretty nice. And this little steps right here, I really like how that turned up. That's how you get up here to the top floor, get inside and do your thing. But there won't be any connection between this building and the rest of the castle. All of this is going to be separate. The only way to get into any of this is you got to go through this right here um, to get into that tower or any of this. So that's the idea is you want to separate your castle into layers and try to make sure that there is a, uh, you know, the design is very cohesive and layered in that sense. So um, I did adjust the terrain out here. We'll probably be doing a little bit of adjusting of the terrain on this side as well. Also, I'll be adding on a thicker batter at the bottom all the way around. I feel like it just needs a little stronger of a base, so we'll do that next episode most likely. And uh, so, yeah, that's about that. I don't think there's really anything else to show. Uh, it's pretty, pretty straightforward at this point. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Also, I have a Facebook and a Twitter that you can follow me on where you can keep up with the goings on of Dukon Red 1. That's where you get sneak peeks and hints as to what I'm doing. Also, I have a Patreon if any of you would like to support me monetarily and the benefits that that provides. So, um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next episode. Till then, bye bye.